Today, we are gonna be showing you guys how to make this bean bag. Bean bags are a very fun and comfortable seating option for your home or office space. We designed a chic and luxurious bean bag for all ages to enjoy. Rather than stuffing the bean bag with beans, we opted for one inch by one inch cubes of foam for a more comfortable and longer lasting filling option. Our bean bag's finished measurements are roughly three feet by three feet. For this bean bag DIY, we chose Krypton home fabric. Krypton home fabrics are known for their durability while remaining incredibly soft and luxurious. Designed with proprietary stain and odor resistant technology, Krypton fabrics can handle anything that you throw at them. Kids, pets, spills, nothing is too messy for Krypton. If you're looking for a dependable, worry-free fabric that can keep up with your active lifestyle, Krypton is the fabric for you. We'll show you all the tools and materials that you'll need and then we'll get started with this project. Here are all the materials that you'll need for your bean bag. First, six yards of fabric. We are using Krypton Home Piper fabric in the color Sapphire. We also offer a wide variety of Krypton fabrics in other colors and textures that would all look fantastic for this project. Next, you will need about three sheets of 48 inch by 80 inches of one inch firm cushion right standard foam. You'll cut it up and use it for the beanbag filler later in the video. Lastly, you will need spray adhesive and at least six yards of quarter inch batting. Moving on to tools. First, the Sailrite cordless rotary cutter. This cutting tool makes cutting long runs of fabric quick, accurate, and easy. For large projects like this beanbag, this cordless rotary cutter is invaluable. We also recommend using the Sailrite blade foam saw to cut the foam for the filling. Next, you'll need an acrylic ruler, a flexible ruler, a marking tool, and a hand sewing needle. We will be using the Ultrafeed LS sewing machine to sew this project. We are pairing the speed reduction upgrade package with this machine for ultimate slow speed control. We're also gonna be using the upholstery package for all our needed sewing machine notions and accessories. Got all your tools and materials ready to go? Then let's jump into the project. Since this project is so large, we're gonna be patterning and cutting out our fabric on the floor. Here are the measurements for the bean bag. This pattern is also linked in the description below. So go ahead and lay out your fabric with the wrong side facing up. We have a few tips for measuring and marking a pattern this large. So start with your two circle pieces that will be on the top and bottom of the bean bag. Cut a square that is just slightly larger than the circle size. Then fold the square in half twice with the wrong side facing out. Measure out from the folded corner a few marks that are the radius of the circle. Then connect those marks together with the flexible ruler. Cut the circle out and then repeat the same steps for the second circle. For the boxing of the beanbag, first measure out the bottom length and the sides. Then cut that rectangle shape out. Now fold the cut piece in half with the right sides facing each other. Measure and mark the top line of the boxing. To create the curve, make some reference marks with the measurements given on the PDF and then use those marks with the curved ruler to connect them. Since you folded the fabric in half, the curves on each side will be uniform with each other. With the curve marks, go ahead and cut out the rest of the boxing. Now it's time to add some batting to the inside of our fabric. Lay out enough batting to attach to the fabric pieces. Then use some spray adhesive on the wrong side of the fabric and lay it flat on the batting. Continue this with all the fabric pieces.
Once they are attached to the batting, use the cordless rotary cutter to cut the batting out in line with the fabric shape. Place your top and bottom circles to the side, but keep your boxing with you. Fold the boxing in half with the wrong sides or the sides with the batting facing out. Use some fabric clips to secure the two ends together. Once it's secured, take the piece over to your sewing machine. Since this will be a high stress seam, set the stitch length to three millimeters. Then sew the ends together with a half inch seam allowance, back stitching at the beginning and the end. Return to your work area and clip the top panel to the top opening of the boxing. Then clip the bottom panel to the bottom of the boxing. Sew these pieces together with a half inch seam allowance. On the bottom piece, leave about a 10 inch opening on the back side to insert the filling. Be sure to backstitch on the two ends of the opening well so that it doesn't rip open when you're filling the bean bag. Now fold the bean bag cover right side out. With our bean bag cover fully assembled, it's time to work on our foam filling. Cut one inch by one inch squares out of your foam until you have enough to fill your bean bag. This should roughly take about three sheets of 48 inches by 80 inch, one inch foam. But we're gonna be using six sheets of 24 by 80 inch, one inch foam because that's what we have on hand. Since this can take some time, we're gonna quickly show you the beginning of this process and then we're gonna cut to filling the bean bag. Once your bean bag is full and you like how it's sitting, the last step of this project is to sew the opening closed. You can either sew it together with the sewing machine or by hand. Either option works, but since hand sewing leaves a more seamless look, that is what we're gonna be doing. And if you wanna learn how to create an invisible seam, which is the one we're using, be sure to watch the video in the description below. If you would like to see more DIY projects like this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out on any of our videos. And if you've missed the other cushion projects that we've made using Krypton home fabrics, make sure to check them out on our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.